Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cyber Security Ranger. Before I begin the video, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel for more videos. So penetration testing, uh, we have six phases, reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, privilege escalation, maintaining access, and covering tracks. Uh, in my previous videos, I have covered reconnaissance. Um, and today we are going to start uh, with the second phase of scanning in which we are going to identify the live hosts, port scanning, service scan, operating system scan, and then finally vulnerability scanning to find out what services are vulnerable. So I'm going to break down this uh, phase into three or four videos, starting with the um, basics, and then we will slowly move towards the advanced uh, scanning techniques. All right, so the tool that we're going to use is also known as King of Scanners, NMAP, used by the professionals. Um, it's an amazing tool. So if you write NMAP hyphen hyphen help, you can actually see the, uh, the list of the options that you have. So it starts with the target specification, how you can specify your target um, hyphen IL hyphen IR. I'm going to use uh, most of these options in this demonstration. Then you have the host discovery techniques um, in which you can discover the hosts uh, on the network. Uh, you have the scanning techniques, uh, hyphen S, 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 D, S, U, S, N. Um, uh, you can go ahead and read about them. Uh, so I'm going to explain them while uh, what I'm demonstrating. The port sc specification, the service specification, the service scan, uh, and then we will also use some of the scripts available in NMAP, operating system scan, timing and performance, and so on, right? And uh, you also have some firewall evasion techniques uh, that we will discuss. Um, so let's get started with the NMAP. And this is uh, the basic example of how you can use uh, nmap all right so i'll start with the host discovery so um if you write i nmap and then hyphen s l so what this does is that it only lists the host so if i write for example uh my network the the one that i'm going to scan is uh, 36.0 so if i write 36.0 slash the cidr slash 24 those of you who are not uh, familiar with the cidr or subnet masks or the ip addressing uh, i will request you to please uh, go through these basics um, i will make a video on the networking as well uh, but for the time being i assume that you already are familiar with the ip addresses so this is a class c ip address or well, what it does is that when I use hyphen SL, it does not perform any kind of scan. It just lists the host, what IPs are available in this range. So when I write dot zero slash 24, it actually starts with dot zero, the first IP address in the range, and then goes up till 255, which is the last IP in this range. And again, it just lists the IP address. It does not do any kind of scanning. All right. So you can also list a range. So for example, if I'm just trying to list uh, the host between 100 and 120, so it's going to give me the list of the IP addresses between 100 and 120, right? No surprise. All right. Um, well, some of you may find it not very useful. It just simply lists the host, doesn't do any scan. Uh, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to do a ping scan in which I'm going to, uh, so SN is for the ping scan. Uh, again, um, it's uh, hyphen SN is for um, finding out the live hosts, means the net, the hosts on the network which are alive, working. Uh, so again, I'm going to ping sweep the whole network uh, by using dot. 0 slash 24 you can use dot 0 slash 24 or you can also use it like this so i'm going to ping sweep the whole network starting from 36.0 to 36.255 
So it won't take much time because it simply just uh, send a ping request and, and try to find out how many hosts are alive on the network. You can see here 36.1, which is my host machine, 36.2, uh, 36.147, 36.254, and 36.134. So with this, with hyphen SN, you actually find out how many IP addresses or how many hosts are there on the network. And at the end, you can see here that there are five hosts which are up. Now we can pick a target uh, from this uh, range uh, at this point, or if you want to do a port scan and then pick the target on the whole network, I usually don't recommend uh, scanning the whole network for port scanning or service scan because it will uh, raise a lot of traffic on the network and probably an IDS or a firewall is going to raise an alert that somebody is trying to scan uh, the, the network, right? Okay, so um, for me, in my case, I'm going to pick this one as a target, 36.147, which I have a virtual machine. Um, another another uh, post-discovery technique is that I can use hyphen uh, P and then N. Hyphen P and N, it only does the port scan. It does not do the uh, ping scan. So if you don't want to do the ping scan or ping sweep, but you want to do only the port scanning, you can use hyphen capital P N. And in this case, I'm just going to restrict it to, um, let's just say, 140 to 150 only for 10 IP addresses. Uh, so again, I will repeat, in this particular command, it is not going to do host discovery. It will only scan the ports on these IPs. So we don't know if the hosts are alive or not alive. So let's see. So you can see here that the range that I provided, uh, it only went and found out the results for 36.147 because maybe the other IPs, they don't even exist. No host is there on that uh, within this range except 147, which is my target. And then you can see here, it finds out the port 21, 22, port 80, 45, and uh, the service that is running on these ports. So I'll come back to that later. But right now I'm just talking about the host discovery. Another tool that I would like to mention here that if you are not using uh, Nmap, for example, for trying to find out the live hosts, there is another tool called NetDiscover. So NetDiscover hyphen R, uh, and then the same way you can write the network address with the CIDR and do a scan. So it does the same thing like a ping sweep in Nmap. It actually only finds out what hosts are alive on this network, right? So you can see here 36.1 is there, 36.2 is there, 36.147 is there, and 36.254. All right. So this was about the host discovery. Now let me talk about the uh, target specification, that how are you going to specify a target um, while doing a scan. So in order to do that, I'm using Nmap, and then I can specify a single target. So for example, my target is 147, right? So Nmap and the target. So what it does is it goes uh, and scan the single target that I have provided, 36.147. However, if I want to have multiple targets, uh, you can actually uh, separate them with, I guess, if I'm not wrong, with a, with a space and then write 192.168.36.147. Uh, for example, right? So you're basically trying to scan two hosts. Um, this is my host machine. Uh, probably we won't get the results for 36.1 because uh, I have pretty good security on my host system and it is going to block the scan from 30, uh, you know, from Nmap, right? We'll talk about bypassing these uh, uh, these firewalls and IDS as well. Um, but the idea here is to find out, uh, the idea here is to learn if you want to do uh scan on multiple hosts. So you can specify two, you can specify three, just separate them with um, uh, with a space, right? I think it will be a good idea if I'm going, if I should switch on another uh, target on my system. 
<clears throat> probably uh, Windows target. All right. So um, I'll have another target up and running in shortly. Okay. So we'll continue and then I, I'll come back to this later. Uh, so I I just mentioned how you can specify one target, how you can specify two targets, three targets. I, I've already explained it, but you can also specify the range. So 192.168.36. Dot, let's just say you want to scan uh, between 100 and 200. So it will scan the... Um, uh, it will scan the uh, 100 IP addresses in this range. So this is another way to specify the target, right? Let's wait for the scan to complete to see the results. And this time, you can see here, uh, I have two targets now. So 130, this is uh, probably the Windows uh, VM that I have. So you can see here the ports which are open. And then I have 147 and Linux operating system. And you can see the ports which are open in this target, right? Okay, another way to specify the target is to uh, specify it by using um, um, a list of hosts that you have in a text file. So for instance, I have this host list. I've just created a small host list. So I'm going to add 192.168.36.130 in this range. So now you can have your own text file in which you have the IP addresses probably that you want to scan. So you don't have to uh, write it here. You can just simply write hyphen I in capital L and then you can give the path of the file. So my file is on the desktop host.list. So I have to write the complete path uh, slash root slash desktop slash host uh, dot list. So what it does is that it is going to um, scan the IP addresses which are given in this host list, right? So when you're doing penetration testing uh, as a freelancer, for instance, or uh, working professionally, you can maintain a list of the hosts that you want to scan or you have scanned, and then you just point it uh, point and map to the uh, to that list of uh, hosts rather than scanning or ping sweeping the whole network and raising a lot of uh, alerts on the network. So you can see here it went through the list and it find out it it found out 36.147 and 36.130, which are the two um, machines that I have uh, alive on my network. Uh, there's another option as well, nmap hyphen I and then capital R. It basically what it does is that it uh, let's just say if I put three here, uh, what this will do is that it will perform a random scan uh, randomly. It will just pick any random three IP addresses and then perform the scan. It could be the public IP addresses. Uh, it could be the, the private IP addresses on my network, but it just randomly does that. So it doesn't really pick up. So three means that it scans three hosts. If I put 100, it is going to scan uh, 100 hosts randomly on the internet, probably. If I put 1,000, it is going to scan 1,000 hosts. Again, I don't recommend doing that. I'm just doing it for the demonstration to see um, if it scans any random three IPs. And it's not necessary that there's um, some alive host on that particular IP address. There's a possibility that... Uh, that, the, that that IP is not being used, or there's also a possibility that some uh some um uh something is hosted on that ip address a web server ftp server so on. so uh let's just wait for the results All right, so you can see here, it randomly went on and scanned these three hosts. Um, 156, 216. Um, you can see here some Amazon AWS, 
it went on and scanned, which is not good. But as you can see that uh, the request was ignored, uh, probably uh, the firewall is there, right? But the host is up, right? So like I said, I don't recommend uh, doing a random scan on the network, but um, this is how it can be done by using hyphen R option. All right, so I'm going to uh, stop my video here uh, and then I'll make another video uh, with uh, continuing with the Nmap scanning techniques, right? Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to create a whole series of Nmap uh, scanning videos in which you can completely learn from basics to the advanced uh, how to perform the uh, scanning using Nmap. Thank you for watching.